morning, good morning. Hey, welcome to all the new folks and welcome back everybody. How is everybody? Oh man, fall is in the air. It's getting cooler in the morning. It's still in the hundreds, like 108, you know, um, but this morning it was in the 70s and it felt wonderful. So uh, it's getting darker in the morning. Have you guys noticed? Getting darker earlier too, so. Anyway, everybody, um, short day today. Could be, could be. Today's my Friday. It's actually Thursday, but today's my Friday. So everything that you guys eat the day before, anything that you take, any medication over the counter or prescription, any vitamins, lack of sleep, stress, you know, you can be excited or upset, uh, the cortisol factor. Um, everything that you eat and drink can have an effect on your weight. So that's why Harry and I on this um, channel like to go over what we eat every day. We like to show you the menu that we are going to have every day. And then we have a big board that gives us a month at a glance so that we can go back to see what potentially could have caused us issues or not. And for those new folks, we did a carnivore challenge and then we did an elimination diet because Harry and I are getting closer to our goal weight and we're having more of a stall and lower weight loss issue. So we're trying to find out what's causing that so we can get down to our final goal weight. So if that's something you guys like and you guys want to see, stay tuned because we do that on a daily basis. Anyway, everybody, I want to share with you what we had yesterday was perfectly keto carnivore. It was absolutely delicious. I was keto, Harry was carnivore. I had four ounces of liver sausage yesterday. I had two tablespoons of chipotle lime uh, primal mayo, and I had that on a big handful of alfalfa sprouts, three ounces to be exact. I put a little bit of mustard on that, and I had half an ounce of pork rinds, and it was absolutely delicious. Harry had his three eggs and six ounces of ground chuck with one tablespoon melted butter to fry his eggs in and he had a tablespoon of beef tallow in his ground chuck. It was absolutely delicious. Oh yeah. My For favorite. dinner, you guys, I put in country style pork ribs into our Instapot pressure cooker before we left. I put a cup of the Walden uh, barbecue sauce in it and it was absolutely delicious. I had eight ounces, Harry had nine. And afterwards we put some barbecue sauce on top. It was absolutely delicious. And then Harry also had two ounces of the liver sausage and a tablespoon of butter on his. We eat the liver sausage on a weekly basis if we can or try to have some kind of liver because of all the vitamins and minerals are in it. If you guys liver. don't like liver sausage, bratwurst, or liver products, you can always get the liver capsules. And that's up to you. I have them. Let me share with you what, what I have. And I'm not saying to get this spe specific brand, but I do have them. Um, I get the Paleo Valley Liver Complex. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, shape, or form. But if we're not eating liver regularly, I do take it. Because you do get vitamins and minerals from this. And I also do the um, Ancestral Grass Fed. This one happens to be Thymus and Liver. Dr. Ken Berry talks about this particular brand all the time. It's a little bit more expensive, but... I'd rather take that than a multivitamin. That's just me. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you don't eat liver, you might want to take some liver caps, cap soles. Um, we each had two scoops of collagen, and we had six tablespoons of the Khalifa Half Pumpkin Spice because it's delicious. Anyway, I had 6% carbs for a total of 20.4 grams, and I'm... My total is supposed to be 20 grams, but I wasn't concerned because alfalfa sprouts have a lot of dietary fiber in them. Even though I don't count it, I did go over, and that's the most carbs I've eaten in, I'd say two months, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, I think so. In a long time, except maybe when we went to Tombstone and I had salad that day. We'd have to look back to yeah. find out. 
Anyway, I had 66% fat for a total of 93 grams. I had 28% protein for a total of 88.4, and I had 1,251 calories. Harry yesterday had 3% carbs for a total of 11.9 grams. 67% fat for a total of 125.4 grams. He had 30% protein for a total of 125 grams, which is less than his upper limit of 133. He had a total of 1,690 calories. We had a 19-hour fast, which was natural. It was eating intuitively, not purposefully fasting. Um, you guys, I started getting a migraine last night and I ended up having to take a naproxen and I had to take my fever few. I don't know why I was getting one, but I had one. I had to close my eyes and get until the pill started taking effect. So I had some issues yesterday. And the reason why I'm saying that is because yesterday I went up, I went up four tenths of a pound and I think that's why. Uh, if you guys are taking over-the-counter pain medicines such as Aleve, Naproxen, Tylenol, they can stop up to 80% of your body metabolizing and burning and utilizing fat and ketones. So that can cause an issue as far as weight is concerned. And I'm positive that's what happened yesterday. I have to take it. So I'm not upset that I went up four tenths of a pound. That's nothing. So uh, what I am gonna do today though, is I'm just gonna have a little bit of avocado and I'll put it on my menu. And then I'm gonna eat clean, pure, simple, one ingredients, nothing from a package, nothing from a box to get back on track with that and help me do a little bit of a whoosh for tomorrow. Harry, he is neither up nor down, 179 and holding. So Harry, with that, let's go to the big board. Here, let me have that and we'll go to the big board. Here, let's go over here to the big board. This is Harry's little segment. Welcome okay. to my segment. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Let me zoom in over here. You know, if, if you kind of look at this, it's kind of strange, you know, because uh, if you look at the whole board, pull back for a minute. If you look for the whole board, you can see all the red. The red is where we go up in weight. The green is when we go down in weight. The black is when we stay the same. So let me So that we do that so we stand. Can, we do that so people. when we stand back and look at the board, you can see well, I'm all just the red showing stuff. People what you're talking about. Because when you stand back and look at the board, you can see the amount of red that you have here, and you can see the amount of green. The red really stands out big time. You know. So What's really, what's weird is that you can see like, we've been zigzagging here. We've been trading off. Look at this. Trade off, trade off here lately. And that kind of bothers me. I was looking at the calories. The calories I'm noticing really aren't as... Important as the food yeah, you as eat. as important as the food you eat. You right. know, because I've gone all the way up to 1,800. And unfortunately, I just started doing this part. But, uh, and I've lost weight. Today I went up in weight. No, you didn't. I mean, it stayed the same, and Wendy went up in weight. Now, the only thing I can think of is uh, we had some barbecue something. What was it? Barbecue sauce? We had barbecue sauce, yes. And we also had... I had more sprouts. I had the... the but the I also had... Stuff. I had a pill. You stayed the same, which is exciting. Yeah, that's fine. I know, but I'm trying to figure out. Some For me, things. it was the pills that I took for my migraine. Yeah, I know it was. I know it was, but I'm trying to find out for me. Why you didn't go down? Because you want to go down every single day? Well, I want to know what's causing it so I don't eat it again. Well, the thing is, is you're in the 70s. Sorry. You're in your 70s where you were in your 80s and teetering. Now you're in your 70s and teetering. So yeah. today we discussed this. Here. Today we discussed this and you said you wanted to go back to your eggs and your ground beef yeah. and chicken. Right. So I'm going to do the menu for that. So you could still have a residual from your Quest chips. I don't think or so. Or the barbecue sauce. I, I don't used, think so. I put primal on yours. I put primal barbecue I, sauce on yours. I don't think it's Quest chips because I have found that usually the Quest chips, if I eat them one day, 
and then I'll go up the next day, but man, it leaves right away, and the following day, they're gone. So do you think it was so, the primal barbecue? I, I don't know, I don't, but I know it's not the quest chips, because I know how fast it leaves, I and mean, I think right. it's because of the salt they're using in there. Right. Um, and the salt seemed to get, go away quickly. Well, you're not gonna have... It's gotta be something specific. Right, so we're going back to the basics. We're yeah, having so eggs yeah, I'm and... Going, that's why I'm going through all of this. Right. So because of that, I'm going back in to the basics again today, and get everything so it normalizes. Ground right? beef, eggs, and chicken. And then start off again. Right. Um, and I don't know, are you gonna do that too, or are you doing something No, else? that's, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna do eggs, and then I'm gonna have chicken, and I'm gonna make our menu. I am gonna have avocado, okay. Okay. but avocado didn't bother me in the past, so let's see once I get my menu. Right, okay. So this is what we do every day, you guys. We analyze our facts of what we eat and, and how we're And I don't it. think we ate a whole lot of fat yesterday. No. Well, I added fat. I added yeah. tallow and butter because the everything was leaner. So. Well, did you put tallow in the meat that you left me yesterday? Yes. Oh, okay. See, I didn't. I didn't yes, notice that. It was oh, okay. All right. Yeah. So, anyway, you guys, let me go. Let me create a menu for today. It's going to be whole foods, clean, what we know works for us. Going to set that all out and do it from there. So I know for me yesterday, the migraine and the medicine is what pushed me up. I know that's what it was. So we're going to start there and we'll come back in the next segment when I have a menu for today. First of all, I have to say thank you to my husband, Harry, who bought me this emergency jewelry tombstone. Those emergency so I didn't jewelry. have so much to wear. So these are this emergency jewelry. Very nice, Harry. Thank you so much. Yes. Wendy keeps all her emergency jewelry in stores. That way, if she needs some emergency jewelry, she could go into the store them. and get some. You're right. Uh huh. You're right. Mm -hmm. All the stores are my oyster. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, you guys. Earlier... Welcome to Wendy's jewelry box. <laughs> uh. Earlier today, you guys, I forgot to put my yesterday. I have this little clip I keep right here. And I take the menu and pop it on. I forgot to do that this morning. So this is actually today's menu. And we'll put a little blip up where it was yesterday's menu. And I apologize for that. It's all Harry's fault. He forgot to tell Yeah, right. Anyway, you guys. Today, I am having four eggs and a half of an avocado with a tablespoon of alternate ketchup because... <coughs> because I'm scrambling those eggs in a tablespoon of butter. I'm having three chicken thighs cooked in the oven with the skin on, and I'm dipping them in two tablespoons of Chipotle primal mayo. That's very tonight, simple, dinner, right? very simple, very simple, yep. We get, or we get two all scoops, this for breakfast. No. Oh. No. Two <laughs> scoops of collagen. Half a scoop of base because of my migraine yesterday. I, I'm, I'm taking base to make sure that my brain gets those ketones today. Six tablespoons of the Khalifa pumpkin spice throughout the you day. You gotta be able to say it if you're gonna pumpkin tell people. Pumpkin spice. Did okay. I not say it right? Yeah, you got it now. Okay, it's a pumpkin. It's a pumpkin, not a pumpkin. It's a pumpkin, pumpkin spice. And everything nice. Okay, I say yeah. It? Everything's nice, okay. yeah. Harry gets three eggs and his six ounces of ground beef because he wants to go back to the basics with a tablespoon of beef tallow, his eggs cooked in butter. You know it. We're having three chicken thighs tonight for him with three tablespoons chipotle mayo. He's having his collagen throughout the day and he wants just the regular toasted coconut almond milk today. Right. So he's getting, did I do this one for me? I don't think I did. Nope, go ahead. Okay, 5% carbs. 15.8 grams, 70% fat, 93.6 grams, 25% protein, 73.9 grams, and I'm having 1,193 calories. That's almost right on the nose. Spot on. Pretty good. This like, should be 5, and that should be 20. Yeah, because we never, remember we talked about I know. That. Could you actually ever eat that? Almost, almost. Yeah. Carrie is having 0% carbs for a total of 0.9 for his eggs. 
69% fat for a total of 124.6 grams. His protein is 31% for a total of 126.6 grams. Total calories, 1,655. I think this will share, show what we do tomorrow. If, oh, if yeah. my migraines don't come back and if I don't have to take any medicine and if we both have a good night's sleep, we should be right on track. Right. Anyway, folks, we'll come back when we break our fast. So Harry has six ounces of beef and a, and a tablespoon of tallow. I'm going to put that in the microwave oven and get it ready to go. Got his butter going here. Mm, let me get this butter. My butter going here. While those are starting to brown. Oops, got a little egg here from yesterday. Little egg from yesterday. I took my four eggs, beat them, put just a splash of water in it because it'll fluff the eggs really nicely. Harry gets three eggs. She's just waiting. She's just such, such a good baby. Watch her. She says, I heard the word eggs. I thought I'd just come and see what you guys are doing. Excuse me. There we go. Everything's cooking. We'll come back when it's eggs, ground beef, scrambled eggs, and avocado. Yes, we will. Harry just blew it. He blew the shot. Yeah, I blew the shot bad, dude. Here. Missed all the I don't have stuff. all these plates everywhere. We were talking about Sleeping Beauty. Yeah. How yeah. Sleeping Beauty snores. <laughs> okay. It's not relevant anymore, I really? guess. Be careful because that's very hot right there. Okay. I get avocado. Okay, here's my avocado. Whichever side decides to come off. Ooh, nice. Pretty avocado. Looks like this little core where the stem was doesn't want to come out. And I want every little delicious piece of it. Give it to me. Give it to me. Give it to me. I say, I say. There. Okay, there we go. Beautiful. Pepper. Very fine, very fine grind. And I get Alterna ketchup. Mm -mm -mm. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. Don't put none out of my eggs. Just, you don't know what you're missing. No, it's okay. I'll miss it. Okay, you guys. Avocado scrambled eggs and a ground beef and egg bowl for breakfast. That's what we're having. It's delicious. Hey everybody, I had a few minutes. I thought I would come and talk to everybody and uh, just let everybody, I wanted to say thank you for all your kindness and your kindness uh, and comments regarding our vlogs that we've been doing lately. Hey you guys, I wanted to bring up something because it's funny, yesterday when uh, you guys saw the vlog where I used um, barbecue sauce. And I, there, it was keto friendly barbecue sauce, but Harry had Quest chips and we're, he's trying to figure out what was causing the water weight retention, you know, or why he didn't go down. So the more products that are keto that we introduce, that are packaged, that are multi ingredient products, the harder it is to track down what's causing inflammation, hidden inflammation, or issues. Issues, upset stomach, you know, uh, issues with your intestines, uh, bad night's sleep, not feeling well, headache, any of those things. That's why, for the most part, Harry and I like 
to keep it simple. Whole ingredients, one item product. You know, whole meat, whole vegetable, something that you can figure out pretty quickly what that's all about. Huh, Harry? Well, what? Well, I was just mentioning how it's harder when you have an issue with weight loss or weight gain, water stall, not water stall, weight stall, when you are adding product, packaged products into your daily diet, such yeah. as Quest chips, mm -hmm. barbecue sauce, my Brunschweiger, anything that has more than three ingredients in it, basically, two one so it's harder and harder the more things you you add into your diet that's why harry and i Every put time. our big board up right and you can't figure it out was it the quest chips was it the barbecue sauce well, that's why you can only do one thing at a time yes i agree and with when you. you screw up right, you have to go back to the base you have to go back start over again that's right and work out again i mean you're gonna have you're gonna be building this list right and when you're all done with the list, which you never really will be. Right. But, you know, I mean, when you're done with a pretty good sized list, you can actually sit down and go, well, I, I want to lose weight, so I'm going to eat these things. Whole foods. Right. You know, that these are the things I'm going to eat. No issues. That you've proven don't give you any issues. Right. And then, when you want to have something, you'll know what's going to happen. You, you know what you're going to have to do before you even eat it. You know what you're going to have to do the following day, right? Right. So if you're stalled and you're eating any of the keto breads and on that you're putting on some keto peanut butter products, right? Butters, nut butters. And you're using a keto jam product that's out there. I see more and more people having peanut butter and jelly jam sandwiches, breads. And then you're oh, having you know, some of the nice. ice creams that are out there that are keto, right? And your weight's going up and up every day. You guys keep adding stuff, but, and you're eating dressings from a bottle. You're eating mayonnaise from a jar that, that may have all of those hidden oils that are inflammatory. You gotta dial back. Dial it back, you guys. It won't take very long. Dial it back. So you go back to whole foods and maybe just add salad dressing. You have a nice big salad, you have your meat, you have your eggs, you have some cheese, you have all of the things that never cause you any issues, and then you add your salad dressing. And do that for three days, right? It's working, no problem, looks good, fine. Then you wanna try one of the keto bread products. You add a slice of that for three days, and you see how that goes. Or you want Quest chips, like Harry does. You add just the Quest chips to the mix because we added sauce and I added several different sauces. I added two different kinds and we had Quest chips and we had Braunschweiger, which has products and the Braunschweiger doesn't have very good products in it. So it, it gets more difficult. So you have to dial it back and you have to do an elimination. Eat the foods that are tried and true, your whole meats, your whole dairy, if you if you tolerate dairy, your eggs, if you tolerate eggs, and then you add one thing from a jar, a package, or a container that's keto that has a lot of ingredients and see how it does for you. Because otherwise, you're going to be all over the place. You're gonna you're not going to no, know what's know. happening at all. And sometimes it takes up to three days for it to take effect. Bang is a prime example for me. I didn't know when I first started drinking Bang that there would be issues, huge issues with me and Bang, um, because it took a while for it to build up in my system or for my system to recognize it, use it, what would you call it? I can't have Bang ever because we found out it's got aspartame in it somewhere in there. Yeah. And it wasn't readily available because of all of the dinky winky little finding print that was on it and trying to research what what it had in it. So do your research, look at your products, right? Yeah. And having keto products are fine, as long as they don't affect your weight, or your weight gain, or your weight stall. But don't come and say, I can't figure out why I'm not losing weight, or oh my God, I've lost 
I've gained three pounds this week. Every day I've gained half a pound. I can't figure it out. But you're eating the keto bread. You're putting keto spread of some sort on it. You're, you're using um, a container of dressing on your salad or you're using one of the mayonnaises on your salad that is uh, seed oil concentrated. You know, you're eating a packaged bar of some kind that has the word keto on it and you don't know why. Well, you're not going to be able to find out why because you're eating too many ingredients to figure it out. Got to dial it back. Go back to the whole foods. Right, Harry? Well, yeah, but I, I really suggest you start out with one item. Right. And it has to be a meat item. I, I'm serious. Oh, you mean a total elimination yeah, diet? A totally like the eliminate. carnivore that we did, the meat and water, meat, basically? Yeah. I mean, I mean, let's face it. It's pretty it, harsh. It, it's harsh. It's hard. And it, I know that is. most people aren't going to do it. Right. It was red meat and it. water or, and coffee and so then just adding if that. If that's the case, then I think the best thing to do is probably to watch people like like Wendy and other people that are trying to do it this way because they start off with an elimination diet and then squirk out from there and build off of them if that's what you want to do. And so I we did. I, I just put back alfalfa sprouts and I put back avocado into my life. My knees are killing me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. 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 Bye. Anyway, thank you for your input, Harry. Oh, yeah. Thank you for your input. Anyway, you guys, I'm saying keep it simple. Use one package keto product at a time if you can until you figure out is it does it bother you. If the keto bread doesn't bother you and you've done it for three to five days, you know, just put some butter on it because you know butter is fine. Then go to the keto jam and add that for three to five days. You know, give your body a chance to react to it too. It may not react right away. Mine doesn't. So that way, if you start gaining, you can deduct it very fast. You can wait three to five more days and then add it back in again. Like Harry did a week later, he had, he had Quest Chips. It went up a little bit. He waited an entire week, seven days on the nose. Added it again. Guess what? He went up again. He's gonna do that again, but not for at least a week to see if that indeed is the issue. Because unfortunately, it's my fault. Yesterday I introduced keto barbecue sauces. So um, we've never tried the Walden Farms barbecue sauce. We use the Walden Farms syrup, but that's not the same as the barbecue sauce. It's not the same ingredients. We also used the Primal barbecue sauce. So we had two different kinds of barbecue sauces and he had his Quest chips. Anyway, folks, I just wanted to bring that up. The best thing to do, if you can, is keep it simple. Keep it simple, or if you're gonna eat keto packaged goods, eat them, and then don't eat them. Don't eat them every single day, all together, all the time. Uh, for one thing, they are usually a net carb situation. Almost all of them are, and you get into trouble with that. And there's a lot of things that have bad ingredients, and when you put all that together, it's like putting a big fat bomb together, and pretty soon it's going to blow up right here on your gut. Yes, it is. Hey, one more thing I want to say, you guys. If you are not having any issues and you can eat what I consider dirty keto and you can eat all these products, the breads and the jams and the, and the nut butters and you can eat all the packaged goods, that is absolutely awesome. I'm talking to those folks that can't, like Carrie and I, that are having issues and they don't know how to fix it. They don't know how to get past their weight loss stall. And these are just suggestions from what Harry and I have gleaned from the way we do things and from our elimination diet. That it's best for us to stay on the whole food train and then add things very carefully and give ourselves a chance for our bodies to react. So you guys need to do for you. We're just sharing what we're trying to do for us and hopefully along the way you can get some really great information that helps you in your weight journey. So anyway folks, 
I'm going to put this chicken into the oven today. I'm going to take it. We're not going to wrap it in bacon. Harry and I talked about yeah, it. Yeah, I don't want to. It's got skin. So the skin, whoops. Still and froze. these are pretty big. Is it still frozen? No, it's not frozen because it was fresh yesterday at the market. Yeah. You can't have three that size. No. These are going to be more two. No, two. If that, yeah. Yeah. They're talking like little, little ones. And these are really big. Look at this. These are like monster guys. Okay, let's put some goodies on here. Let's put our Byron's butt rub. Because we know that we don't have an issue with that. Okay, you guys, putting this in the oven. I'm cooking it at 400 degrees. Four hundred degrees for twenty-five minutes. Go, Mark said. Go. Anyway, you guys, Mom's coming over for dinner tonight, and we're gonna have this chicken thighs. I'm gonna make her a little side salad, and Harry and I are keeping it simple, and we're having just chicken, and we're gonna dip it in our uh, mayonnaise. So we'll come back, you guys, when it's dinner, when it's chicken, when the chicken is done. Okay, you guys, chicken's almost ready, so I'm measuring out our um, mayonnaise. And this is the chili lime mayo, and we get 30 grams each. There we go. For dipping our chicken in. 29, so that's 30, so that's good. So what I wanna do is I want to measure this chicken. I want to measure yours and I want to measure mine. I want to give us each two thighs because I have a funny feeling that these are going to weigh a lot, but they also have bones. So we'll weigh them with bones and we'll weigh the bones and we'll figure out the difference. Okay, doke. Okay. Oh, just fogged my glasses up. Oh, beautiful. Two. It's 11.7, Harry, on yours. What are you allowing me? Well, I have to go back and look, but we'll take the bones away. That's fine. 11 is fine for the chicken. Mine's 10.4. Anyway, you guys, what we're going to do is I'll come back and share everything with you and let you see the difference between what we said we were getting and what we were getting. I have us each, I have three chicken thighs for me and three chicken thighs for you, Harry. Mm -hmm. So I think it's gonna be perfect with this amount minus the bones. Right, me too. So I'm not too worried, you guys. If you guys like what you see today, please like, subscribe, ring that bell so you get notified on the next vlog that we're doing. Give us a thumbs up, you guys. That helps the algorithm and keeps us in front so people can find us. Anyway, everybody, we'll see you tomorrow. This really smells good. Yeah, I just love the smell of the rub on that. Oh, man.